You're watching Truth vs. Hype. There is an eerie silence over Manipur, which has witnessed the least number of killings in its decades-long insurgency in the year gone by, 2014. But the calm may be deceptive. It comes after the Supreme Court order indicted the armed forces for a series of extrajudicial killings, leading the forces to disengage. But those fighting for justice, for the victims of fake encounters, say that as long as the men in uniform who killed unjustly remain unpunished, peace may only be an illusion. Is 2014 a turning point in decades of conflict that has left thousands dead? 48 killed in total, security forces, civilians, extremists. The lowest ever, a dramatic drop from 485 in 2008. One of the most commonly cited reasons, just the previous year, the Supreme Court, in response to a petition, asked for six encounters to be probed by a committee. What they found was damning. The commission consisting of uh, Mr. Lingdo and Ajay Kumar Singh and myself, uh, after holding an inquiry, we came to the uh, conclusion that uh, in the, all the six encounters uh, were not really encounters, it was actually out and out murder. Uh, this was only a facade to show that it was an encounter. The result, a self-enforced slowdown. Good or bad when something is put to scrutiny, mm. uh, he will be taken back as a human being. Mm. So that uh, definitely works on the security forces psychologically. What, so their morale is down uh, at morale, the Morale uh, is little, little on the lower side. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why uh, the, you did not find any of the major incidents that are happening. No one can have a quarrel with the reduction in violence, but the absence of any visible attempt to investigate those allegedly involved in fake encounters, some say, has led to the perpetuation of the culture of impunity which has led to fresh violence. In the rural edge of Imphal, the home of Gobind, 25 years old, on an April evening in 2009, he left home with his cousin Nobo. The family learnt of their bullet-riddled end the next morning. So, media me news me suna hai ki two boys wo mar gaya hai jo fake encounter me. Acha, usse pata chala. Haan, usse pata chala. The official version. A team of Manipur police commandos and the army's Assam rifles rushed to the games village at the heart of Imphal where they claimed militants were spotted. The militants they claimed fired at them. When they fired back, they killed Govind and Nobo. The family was shocked. And these people who said the police and army that Govind and Nobo had a UG group, a militant group, was there anything like that? Nothing. Nothing like that. No connection. It took the Supreme Court Committee to demolish the army's version. Now, Manas, this Justice Hegede Committee rebuts all the evidence of the police on a number of grounds. Yeah. It says that, number one, the intelligence about these two boys being terrorists is clearly dodgy. Yeah. Number two, it says that the weapons that were recovered... Especially the grenade. The grenade was recovered without a pin, yeah. suggesting that it was probably planted. It was planted. And number three, it says that there was absolutely no sign of any bullet injuries or any marks that they were fired upon, the security fire forces were Instead, fired upon. the security fired uh, 89 times uh, at these two militants. 89 times they were fired at. One of them, Gobind, had 16 gunshot injuries and the other one, Nobo, had five, had five bullet injuries. Yeah. But the army enjoys special powers under the Armed Forces Act which says that any member can fire upon or use force even to cause death. But the only way to prosecute soldiers if they violate the code is sanction from New Delhi. And but after almost six decades of AFSPA in Manipur, not a single prosecution request to the center. Uh, under AFSPA, you have the power in case an army personnel is found to have been involved in a, in a fake encounter, like well-known cases like Manorama, to actually seek sanction from the center to prosecute them. Have you ever sought sanction? No, as far as I remember. Uh, not a single instance? No, no, no such instance. 
The state government claims they conduct their own inquiries, which find that these encounters are mostly genuine. Very often, we, if we have sufficient number of uh, uh, evidence, sufficient uh, you know quantum of evidence, then we try and file this uh, a writ petition in the High Court. Mm. And when the High Court hears it, the High Court sends down it to the uh, district and session judge. District and session judge listen to both sides, weigh the evidence, and whenever they do this, they always find the reverse of what the magistral inquiry was talking about. That means that it that was a, it was an actual was fake, it was a, a fake encounter. Fake encounter. The search for truth throttled even earlier. The police deeply reluctant to register an FIR. जब आप लोग पुलिस के पास गए FIR लॉज करने तो उन्होंने एक्सेप्ट किया? नहीं एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया. Repeated attempts to get the Assam Rifles to come on record proved unsuccessful. When we did meet one of the members of the unit off the record, he said that extrajudicial killings were an exception and that they had in place internal processes to carry out checks and take action. But he refused to clarify whether in this particular instance there had been any such inquiry or for that matter in any of the alleged instances and even refused to specify what action is taken. Going by the public record, the opposite seems to be true. Four months after Govind and Nobo were killed, the officer in charge, Major D. Sriram, awarded the Ashok Chakra, the Army's highest peacetime honour. The citation says he delivered hard blows to the activities of terrorists in Manipur. There is no question that when you have an establishment and an environment where security forces are ruling the roost, and where there is no sense of a political settlement, a need for a dialogue with the locals, the need to win over the locals, you will have situations where the security forces manipulate the situation in order to bring themselves benefits. And we are talking specifically here of medals, of field service seniorities, of promotions and so on. The claim that extrajudicial killings are an exception remains contested in the absence of credible data. The number cited by activists of over 1,500 killings since the inception of the insurgency was not accepted by the Supreme Court or by the Manipur government. You are so, saying these are genuine encounters? We, these are genuine encounters as far as we are concerned. And the, our facts are put before the Supreme Court. Now it is up to the Supreme Court to take a call on this. and It's pending for judgment. But the Hegde Committee's attempts to get official data stonewalled. The only numbers in the past five years, 66 complaints of human rights violations against the army, of which three have been disposed of. They have not held an inquiry, uh, not they have admitted it, but from the material and record we knew that no inquiry was conducted by the armed forces. The consequences of denials of truth and obstructing justice lie not too far back in history. Two of Manipur's biggest recent uprisings stemmed from brutal extrajudicial encounters and the cover-up that followed. The courts have finally begun to acknowledge the truth in both these cases. But the question of justice still remains uncertain. In the village of Malom, the father of Shanti Kumar, his son killed 14 years ago as he waited at a bus stop. What happened, say, they got on their request without hearing. Mm. They Hands up, and within a very short, mm. gun down. Gun both the, of them down. One of the, them. The bullets fired by a convoy of Assam rifles, who reacted to an IED set off by militants. The blast didn't injure them, but their retaliation gunned down ten. The army claimed they were fired upon. But a massive unrest followed, giving birth to Manipur's best-known voice, against the Armed Forces Act. It is a draconian law. In our native land, there are lots of widows due to the infliction of this draconian law. And yet, the evidence of the Malom massacre was almost buried by a magisterial inquiry. And it was only after the families battled in court that a judicial commission was ordered and the army's claims debunked. In December 2014, just a few weeks ago, the court accepted the report and compensation was ordered. But even that has done little to change the state government's reluctance. Okay. And uh, during the last two, three years, I think we have not had any such allegation. 
but uh, in the cases of the encounters which have been found to be fake earlier ones, uh, has there been any action on the police personnel who were involved? Law will take its own course. Whatever is proved, it will be done. I am not very sure about the old cases and all. The soldiers named in the report, their commanding officer remained free, posing a risk to key witnesses who deposed before the commission, like this woman who saw the entire sequence. Who was actually doing the firing? Could she see? Could she make out who was actually firing? I mean, copy the guy. Okay, but actually, the, he saw. Uh, Clearly, that uh, it was shot from the uh, top of the army vehicle. She saw them yeah. firing clearly from yeah. top of the army vehicle. Yeah. Was there any retaliatory firing mm -hmm. on uh, the army as the army is claimed? Uh, we didn't see that. Nothing. There was no retaliatory firing. We don't care about the amount. Okay. Whether it is less or more, we don't care. Okay. Because my son cannot be compared with any Belu. Hmm. Son is son. Inside a police station on the outskirts of Imphal with the brother of Manorama. In July 2004, she was picked up from her home by the Assam Rifles on grounds that she was a bomb maker of the People's Liberation Army. Her bullet riddled body found a few hours later. The army claimed that when they allowed her to relieve herself, she tried to flee. Justice Upendra, a retired Sessions judge, headed a commission appointed by the state government that exposed the army's claims. A number of allegations were made by the police and the army. Uh, the first was that Manurama was uh, some kind of a militant with the PLA. Yeah. Was there any proof no, that she was a militant? No, nothing of the sort. क्या काम करती थी दीदी मनोरमा ये ये जो यहां पे दिखाई दे रहा है ना इस तरह की कपड़ा चला बनाता है अच्छा ये वीविंग का काम करती थी दे से दैट शी वाज ट्राइंग टू रन अवे एंड दे फायर्ड एट हर लेग्स हां दैट्स व्हाई बट व्हाट वाज द एक्चुअल स्टोरी दे फायर ऑन दिस दिस प्राइवेट पार्ट्स दिस दिस दे फायर ऑन हर प्राइवेट पार्ट्स ऑन मेडिकल रिपोर्ट विल रिवील दिस थिंग व्हाट शी and it was also firing from close range? Yes, firing from close range. And yet the army remains untouched. In fact, it's not even clear who took part in the encounter. I, uh, I sent notice to them, hmm. then they didn't appear. Then I pick up their names from local papers, then I sent notice to them, hmm. summons. Hmm. They didn't appear. They didn't appear. Then I say, whenever they refuse summons, then I say, the, under my power, the, the when summons is refused, I can send warrant of various. Plus, only by the time they appear. When I issued warrant of various. Only after an arrest oh, warrant. Yes. After that, they appear. Yes. The Supreme Court in December 2014 has ordered compensation to Manorama's family and the center to act on the Upendra report. But that news has yet to reach the police station where the FIR of Manorama's killing was lodged by her brother. In fact, the police say that they are still probing both FIRs, including the one lodged by the army. Manorama ka Haan. case mein do case register kiya hai. Acha. Parallel. Ek to security Assam Rifle ka side se. Haan. Ek dusra case uh, Manorama ka bhai. Brother. Haan. Haan. Ye jo hai ya. Polo polo ne kiya hai. Hmm. Dono case abhi investigation pending hai. Hmm. कुछ 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 थोड़ा मेटेरियल एविडेंस क्या क्या बाकी है कभी आपके पास आए हैं जांच करने नहीं झाचा के समय तो आया था उसके बाद अभी तक कोई नहीं आया तब से लेके अभी तक कोई भी नहीं आया कोई भी नहीं आया तो ये तो अभी कह रहे हैं कि इतने सालों से जांच कर रहे हैं आपके पास नहीं आए वो जांच कह रहे हैं बोला कि उसके समय में तो कुछ नहीं कर रहे बोल रहे हैं ना तो अभी वो कैसे आएगा इन द केसेस वेयर द आर्म फोर्सेस आर इन्वॉल्वड uh, there's a strong perception that the police is reluctant to register an FIR. Uh, there's a big problem when the victims go, the police doesn't want to register an FIR, they don't want to probe the armed forces. No, no, we have been doing it. I think so. all the cases uh, were always, uh, cases were registered always. Cases uh, yeah. may have been registered, uh, but uh, those have been like, registered like, by like the, the armed forces, not like against the, the armed forces. Manorma case or any such important case, hmm. the cases were always registered. There is no such electorate. 
in the manorama case actually the fir has been registered against the armed forces but that's yeah. all has happened there hasn't yeah. there, there doesn't appear to be any progress on that fir actually these cases are national human rights commission cases and whatever are their instructions that may be followed like coming up if violence is on the decline in manipur why the reluctance to remove the armed forces act